Hi, I'm Rick Baker, and I've been a ZBrush user since almost the inception of the software. And, you know, how did that come about? <laughs> you know, I've been sculpting traditionally, painting traditionally, since I was a little kid. And as you can tell by looking at me, that was a long time ago. And, you know, I love making things and I love finding new ways to make things. And in the late 80s, I started painting digitally and fell in love with the, the process. That the fact that you could save things at various stages and go back and forth and revert. Was, I called it no fear painting and I wanted to do the same thing with sculpture. So I got a, a point and polygon modeling program and played with that for a while and it just didn't take to it. It was so, so not organic, you know, not like I was used to pushing clay around and cutting into and adding to. And, uh, so I thought digital sculpting was something I was never going to do. And then along came ZBrush. And, you know, mind you, when I started ZBrush, it was a completely different animal back then. There were no, you know, it wasn't Dynamesh, there were no subtools. In fact, this, this Popeye sculpture I did when I, in ZBrush, when I was beta testing the first version of ZBrush that had subtools, and this was a long time ago. Um, anyways, I, once I learned to use the program, I loved it, and I couldn't stop. And I just thought of all the possibilities. And now that there's 3D printing and, and everything, it's just the greatest software for a creative person. And if you're not using ZBrush, what the hell's wrong with you? It's a great software. I know you're going to love it. I love it. Thank you for making it. Uh, you allowed me to sculpt digitally, and I really love doing it. So get ZBrush.